Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kenna. I'm a biochemist, cosmetic chemist, and a business consultant for skincare startups and indie beauty brands. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about adaptogens in skincare. What are they? How do they work? Which ones should you be looking for? It is kind of a buzzword right now, both in the health industry and in skincare. So let's just deep dive into what these adaptogens are all about and how they can benefit your skin. So what are adaptogens? Adaptogens are natural substances that generally come from plants and they really help our body uh, adapt and respond to different stressors. So they have been used in traditional herbal medicine for thousands of years and they're known for helping our body maintain homeostasis. So that's kind of like just keeping everything cool and level and balanced within our bodies and our organs and our skin, all of that good stuff. So they are really powerful plant compounds that just help our body deal with different stressors and we're going to get into kind of what that word stressors really means. So how do adaptogens work? Well, remember that word stressor. So what are what are stressors? When our body is under stress, we release cortisol. And cortisol is a really powerful hormone that it, it was really helpful actually for dealing with stress in our body, whether that's injury, whether that's a flight or fight response, whether you know that is some sort of attack on our body that we have to then go send a bunch of things <laughs> internally to deal with, cortisol is released to help us deal with those situations. Now, cortisol can be bad if we're under stress for a long time and our body just keeps releasing, releasing, releasing cortisol, it can actually cause a lot of damage to both us internally and externally. So adaptogens are really cool because they actually help regulate that cortisol level in our body and help us reduce the negative effects that happen with prolonged cortisol release um, and you know the negative effects of stress ultimately. So before we talk about the adaptogens in skincare and their benefits, I do just want to talk about today's partner for this portion of the video. This portion of the video is sponsored by V Green, and the reason why I'm talking about adaptogens and this in this brand is because one of their serums actually has reishi mushroom, so it does have an adaptogen in there, which is really really cool. I've been using three products from their line, and I've been using them for actually over a year now. I'm absolutely obsessed. So when they reached out to me to do a collaboration, I was very excited. Uh, first, I want to talk about their alcohol-free mucin essence toner. Now this is really cool because this is a non-snail mucin. You've probably heard of all the snail mucin products that are really great for your skin barrier. But if you're vegan, this definitely is not gonna be a product for you. Obviously it's an animal byproduct. So they get their mucin from wild yam actually. It's very, very cool. Um, and it has the same effects that the snail mucin has, but it's just sourced from yams instead of snails. So if you want to get those benefits of the snail mucin, but you are vegan, definitely recommend trying this one out. It is a very nice lightweight toner, but it has a nice kind of consistency where it doesn't just spill all over your hand. Very easy to apply, very, very hydrating for the skin. This wild yam ingredient that they use contains three really special uh, compounds, diostogen, saponin, and elantuin which are anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and brightening on the skin. And this product also does contain panthenol and three types of hyaluronic acid. So if you're looking for something to really hydrate the skin, boost the skin barrier strength, then definitely this one is excellent. Now the second product that I do want to touch on is their 730 cream. Now this is one of the most incredible creams I've ever tried. And what's so cool about it is it only contains 11 ingredients, which is very small for something like a moisturizer that is an emulsion formula. But this is like really great if you have one sensitive skin or two if you're using a lot of products with different actives be it um AHAs, BHAs, or retinoids, or even something like vitamin C, you don't need a moisturizer with a ton of actives. And this one just gets the job done. It has great humectants in there. Um, it also has arginine, which is really great for the skin, but it's just like the most simple formula, but very effective as a moisturizer as it should be. So highly, highly recommend if you do have dry and sensitive skin, if you're using a lot of actives, you need a moisturizer like this in your life. It will just be the perfect complement to any routine, whether it's simple or complex. But if you are using actives, definitely this is a good one to follow up those actives with. Okay, lastly, let's segue back into the adaptogens for skincare by talking about their reishi serum. So reishi mushroom is an adaptogen. It is known as the 
herb of eternal youth and it has a really long history of use like over 2000 years so it's known for really supporting the skin's barrier and also just providing really hydrating and anti-aging effects on the skin and it's really rich in a compound called beta-glucan which is incredible humectant for the skin and just really helps with skin barrier repair so these three products if you are trying to work on your skin barrier uh, definitely definitely recommend but they would also be a great complement to like an after sun um, routine if you've been out in the sun all day and your skin's feeling a little maybe you got a little bit too much exposure this is going to help really calm everything down be very soothing and just make sure that your skin barrier is nice and protected long term so thank you again to v green for sponsoring this portion of the video and partnering with me because it is a brand that i truly love all of their products are incredible um, and it just is very fitting that we have an adaptogen in there Adaptogens can be very beneficial for your skin as we just heard about the reishi mushroom But we're gonna now talk about three other ones that are very beneficial for your skin including ashwagandha ginseng and rhodiola So how do these really work in skincare? So when our body is under stress and releasing that cortisol for long periods of time it does cause inflammation in the body and our skin can um, you know be a target of that as well and this can really lead to skin conditions like acne rosacea sometimes eczema and also all, overall just kind of irritated or sensitive skin so ashwagandha is a very cool one um, it is anti-inflammatory it also does really help with improving the elasticity in the skin and improving fine lines and wrinkles it also is just very antioxidant rich um, so really great for protecting your skin against like we said inflammation but also free radical damage and ashwagandha when taken internally is really known to help reduce stress and anxiety so not so much if you put it on your skin but um, those are some of the common side effects for taking it internally rhodiola when taken internally is really known for stress and fatigue so it helps with on like the fatigue element of things but again on the skin it kind of does the same thing as ashwagandha it has antioxidants it has anti-inflammatories in there and it's going to help improve the skin's uh, skin barrier elasticity firmness all of that and then the last one that we'll talk about is ginseng it does the kind of similar things for the skin as well um, it is a really great one actually for brightening the skin and um, again really great for UV induced damage because of the um, antioxidants in there anti-inflammatory and then also really great for skin barrier support so I use personally ashwagandha ginseng and reishi a lot in my skincare routine those are ones that I find really help like soothe my skin and help with my skin barrier support and strength um, and I also like using it as a source for antioxidants in my skincare routine. But ginseng, when taken internally, is really known for kind of its energy and focus element. Um, I don't know if you've ever had like ginseng tea. I definitely have and it definitely does give you uh, a nice boost of energy and a good focus as well. So if you're studying for anything, then maybe, <laughs> maybe get some ginseng in you because it can be very beneficial. So yeah, that's just a little bit about adaptogens and skincare. I mean, you know, everything does have its limitations when applied topically. It's not going to be able to change our cortisol levels like it does when you take things internally. But a lot of these plants that are used internally have a lot of um, external skin benefits when you do both take them internally and you apply them topically to your skin. So uh, that's kind of why they've gained popularity. Um, a lot of things from the health space do translate over into skincare. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, traditional use and knowledge around these herbs um, as they are a part of a lot of different traditional medicines around the world. But yeah, let me know if you're using any adaptogens in your skincare, um, whether this ma video made you want to start using adaptogens and which ones maybe you're interested in trying. Again, the ones that I use the most are ashwagandha, ginseng, and reishi. Well, I hope you found this informative. You learned a little bit more about adaptogens both internally and externally and the benefits that they do have let me know if you do have any questions about anything down in the comments and if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really helps um yeah i'll see you guys in my next video